Well, this is a tank that no longer really has a purpose. It's been several things. It was a quarantine tank for quite a while. Um, I used to breed my guppies in here. Um, I've had over a hundred fair-sized guppies in this tank at one time. Now it ha um, it's home to um, a few of my skirted tetras and other assorted tetras that really don't have a home. I have tried them in the big tank but even though I've kept skirted tetras before in a community tank um, I found these were a bit fin nippy so I've got four tetras in here they sort of spread out the aggression between them they leave the female guppies completely alone I've got three sisters in there with a lovely colour and one of my last black uh, large females um, I've also got quite an old nye white snail I've put in there at the back so I'm kind of going to leave this tank as it is. I've got one more small colourful female guppy to go in here. She's um, quite tiny. Uh, she's just delivered a few more tiny babies. So once I'm sure she's not going to have any more, I'll put her in here. And I've also got two in the tank that I'm going to change to more of a river looking tank. Um, I shall put the colourful females in here, um, at least till I'm running short of females in the bigger tank and then I might move some of the younger ones into that tank. So it's kind of a nothing but I do quite like it. The um, actual large um, skirted tetra he didn't seem so happy in the bigger tank to be honest he was always hiding coming out having a nip of a fin and then going back in he seems a lot he's out all the time in fact he would never look for food before and now he knows it's food time you know he knows where the food's going to come down and he seems to be quite happy his uh, fins are all scraggy still he was uh, a rescue from a pet shop he had really bad tattered fins when I picked him up. I didn't think he'd live actually. They are one of my favourite fish and um, I think eventually once I haven't got these female guppies I may buy more to go in here. I know they could do the bigger tank but really he seems really quite happy here and so um, you know if I get him a friend So this is kind of how it's going to be. Um, I've got no cleanup crew really apart from the snails. I've got two snails in here. I picked up um, four snails from my local pet shop and they were in a terrible state. Their um, shells were completely split and awful. I don't think I can see him now but the one in here is now fully healed. His shell is... Um, completely joined up and healthy that's taken a couple of weeks I did lose the other one but he was in such a state um, I've been telling them for a long time that you do have to feed your snails you know you've got a bare tank with just snails in and they're on each other's backs trying to get the last little bit of algae so you have to feed them wafers and the lady who owns a pet shop did but she's been away on holiday for a while so I don't think the boys are doing it and again the snails are in a terrible state so today I'm off to uh, a pet co it's a little way away um, well I know they take care of them my nye white snails have lived for years that I've got there and they're quite big so I've got to replace a couple that actually have died um, old age so I'm kind of happy with this. I do like the fact that the female guppies are quite colourful. The three sisters are really nice. Um, and I love the black ones. 
when I do my other tank and move it into the office I'm going to keep some guppies in there but I'm going to try to put the plainest female guppies I can in there I've got three I think I want it to look more kind of river fish so I'm looking for fish that are quite plain looking a bit dull even apart from the fact that I I am going to start looking around for some clown kitty fish. I've never had those before and I thought it might be a nice idea to have maybe a few of those. So I have to hunt around to see where I can get them. But really I think I'm starting off with um, red finned tetras. I'm looking at these kind of fish because I'm not putting a heater in the tank. Um, I'm going to have bare amount of things in it, just the under gravel filter, a light um, and as many plants as I can fit in there, rocks and wood. I have a nice piece of wood back there I've had for quite a while that I might start off with and quite a lot of these kind of dark stones that I like. And then um, I'm going to see how that pans out. I did look at mountain minnows, which I may have to do because it may be the only fish I can find locally. But then if I do find the other fish at some point, I can always put the mountain minnows in the big tank. This tank is always such clear water. And I only noticed the other day when I put the blue light on, the, the little Halloween ornament, which I have here, actually glows in the dark. His eyes glow and his claws glow and his fangs glow. It's quite spooky. So I quite like that. <laughs> 